Hi everyone and welcome to the video. In a moment I'm going to be showing you some actual footage on how you can improve your ball control. We're going to go through a few different drills. I'm going to talk over it while I am showing you the actual drills. And the point of these drills is to be able to help you improve your first touch, your ball control, and more... Um, situational ball control than anything. It's good to improve your ball control to a point where you can juggle well and all that, but you also need to learn how to, for example, take the ball out of the air, move in different directions with your first touch, and so on. So a lot of the stuff we go over is going to be covering that. So I'm going to get right into it. I'm going to play the footage right now and talk over it so you know what's going on. Okay guys, so for the first drill, we're just going to be doing a regular juggling drill. All I want you to be alternating your feet like I'm doing here. Do not just, just, just use your right and do not just use your left. Do not neglect your weak foot. Now make sure you're keeping it close to you. You can pop it up a little above your knees and you can try some under your knees like I'm doing right now. You want to do both because it's going to improve your touch in different ways. So as you can see, above my knees and I'll be doing some that are going there like that just under. And you can eventually get to the point where you just try and do it as quickly as you can. Get as many touches as you can like I'm doing here as fast as you can. As you can see, um, this takes a lot of practice to be able to do touches like this, but it's worth it. So here's a different angle. Again, just making sure you're alternating your feet. Every Each touch is on the other foot after I take the touch on the other foot. You can see I'm also popping it up a little higher. Make sure you're experimenting with this. Make sure you're hitting some low, some high. Make sure you're hitting some fast, some slow. You really want to develop all kinds of touches. Now we're getting into the next drill, which is just popping it up on one touch. So you're going to throw it down to your foot and then pop it back up to your hands. This is a very underrated drill that I think really, really helps your touch. That was a bad one there. So keep doing this, popping it right back up to yourself. And here you go. Here's another angle. So you want to be flicking it up to your hands about kind of mid-drift to chest height. Um, and you want to make sure you're hitting it up there as often as possible. Of course, I do mess up that one, um, but try and get it there. Now we're moving on to two touch. So you're going to do exactly the same thing, alternating feet. So one, two, one, two, popping it up. This is a little more difficult because your first touch has to be very true. But again, try and pop them up at the same level as you can see I'm doing here. So I'm popping it up. And I'm making sure my first touch is good to set myself up for my second touch. This is going to be great at involving both of your feet again. And it's going to be good at getting you accustomed to hitting the ball um, with certain power and certain touch to make it go a certain distance. So this is a very good drill to do to improve your ball control. Again, one of my favorites and one I think is very underrated. And that more players should do if they want to improve their first touch, their ball control, and so on. And it's drills like this that allows me to be good with both of my feet. Uh, you get that shit out of here. There was someone playing on the field. Okay, so now we're doing um, something called box trapping. So what we're gonna do is kick the ball up in the air and then control it in the box like that. So you're gonna see me do this a few times. Now, if it leaves the box, just try and control it into the box, but I think for most of these I do well. So bring it down, flick it back up, hit it again. So as you can see, it's leaving the box, so I control it back into the box up. It's gonna leave the box again, bring it into the box. So your goal is you want to stop it in the box. Even if you mess up a few times, don't worry, keep going, but do your best to take your first touch into the box. If it leaves the box, try and get your first touch to go back into the box, but we'll go over that in a second. So as you can see, I'm just cushioning it down to my feet with my whatever part of my body, my, um, with my chest, my thighs, my feet, again, into the box, back into the box. This is all about first touch. Now, if you can't kick it up accurately, you can do what I'm doing here, which is simply flicking up to my hands and then throwing it. Um, but I would prefer if you kick it up. If you can't kick it up, though, and it's going crazy all over the place, you can throw it up. Remember, we're working on first touch, so we want to make sure you're getting as many as possible. So here's another angle. As you can see, kicking it up, making sure I go back into the box. Oh, my first touch. This is all about first touch here, guys. Um, and after you take your first touch, bring it back up and go again. And remember, you want to cushion the ball down to your feet. You want to get it down to your feet as quickly as possible. So if you can control it directly with your feet, that's the best. But if you need to use your thighs or chest, that's fine. Just remember, you want to get it down to your feet as quickly as possible, which will set you up to take your next touch. Okay, so now we're doing a bit of a different drill. I call this um, in and out of the box. So what happens is if the ball is landing in the box, you have to take your first touch and control it outside the box. If it goes outside the box, take your first touch and bring it back into the box. So as you can see here, it's coming in the box, so I take it outside the box. In this one, it's going outside the box, so I take my first touch into the box, if that makes sense. This is going to work on your directional control, so as you can see, out of the box. 
because you're not always going to have the option to control it right to your feet. Sometimes you're going to need to go in a direction. So as you can see, out the box, so I come back in. So it, it sounds a bit confusing, but it really isn't. So all it is, is if the ball is going to land outside the box, your first touch should be controlling it back into the box. And if the ball is going to bounce into the box like it is here, you take a touch outside the box like I'm doing there. Now make sure you're using the inside and outside of both of your feet for this. You can even do that, like a Cruyff turn out of the air if you want. That's a little more advanced, so don't worry too much about that. But you can see I'm using both my feet and the inside and outside of both of them. Now this first touch on this drill is extremely important. You take a bad touch here, you're going to lose control of the ball. As you can see, all of my touches are pretty good going in the direction I want to go, right back into the box with that one. Um, and this is really going to help develop your first touch and ball control that way. It's going to develop your ball control on both sides as well. Now we're doing um, a bit of a different drill. I call this continuous juggling, um, but each couple of touches or few touches, you're going to launch the ball up in the air and then control it to keep juggling. This is a much more advanced juggling technique. You can see I'm using all parts of my feet. I'm just juggling it a few times, then popping it up, controlling it, juggling a few times, popping it up, and I'm using different parts of my feet. I'm using both of my feet, juggling it up, popping it up, using my thighs, and just keep doing this for as long as you can until you miscontrol it. Um, this is, and you can see here, I actually did save that. There's the camera angle, but almost lost control there. And just try and keep it in the box if you can. Um, so if it leaves the box, control it and just juggle it back into the box. But as you can see, I'm staying mainly in the box. This is just to keep you um, within control. You don't want to be going all over the place. You want to get used to being able to pop the ball up where you want to pop it up and then control it where you want to control it. Sorry about that. My alarm was going off, but this is the last drill we have here. Um, and you can kind of see what's going on here. This is the more advanced drill. Make sure you can juggle well first before doing this, but then you can move on to this guy right here. Okay, everyone, so make sure you're practicing these drills if you want to see some improvements in your ball control. Like always, the options for the next voted video will be down below in the description, also in the comments. Remember, you can vote once on this video and you can vote once on Instagram. If you want some more drills, some more skills, some more tips that are going to dramatically improve your game, I did release a video course. I'll put the link in the description down below. You can get a free seven-day trial if you want. Thanks, guys, once again for watching this video. Make sure you leave a like on the video and also share it with your friends and your teammates so that they can learn from this as well. And if you're new to Simply Soccer, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We release around three to five videos every single week that are designed to help you improve as a player. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you got something out of this video. Don't forget to vote, and I'll see you on the next voted video.